Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at how to crochet these lovely stars. They're incredibly easy to do, a marvellous project really for beginners because it gives you lots of stitch practice, your basic stitches. Right, we're going to be using Karen Simply Soft by Yarnspirations and this is the off-white colour, there's the code. And as you can see, it's 100% acrylic. They do recommend, where are the, oh, here we go, um, a 5.5 millimeter hook. However, for the little stars to get a nice compact finish to them, I am using a four millimeter hook today. And here's the yarn we're going to be working with. Okay, so let's begin. Now we start with a magic ring. Don't let this put you off because there is a nice, easy way to do this. And it's just a case of looping your yarn like so and making what looks like a little E. You might need a slightly longer tail, like so. And pinching just there. We bring our hook in from the back to the front, grab our yarn, and pull through and that's it you just pinch and there's your magic circle or magic ring next we're going to chain three one two three and now we're going to do a double crochet straight into the ring working over both strands of yarn So now we have done our double crochets. This will count as a double crochet to start. Next, we need to chain two. One, two, and three double crochets all into the ring. One, two, and three. And once more, two chains. One, two, three double crochets. One, two, and three. two chains, one, two, and three double crochets, one, two, and three. So we need five groups of three double crochets. Here we've got one, two, three, four, two chains, and another set of three double crochets. One, two, three. Now, instead of doing two chains and slip stitching here, we're going to do a half double crochet to join. So, Yarn over, insert your hook in the top of the three chains. You can see where the top of the three chains is just here. This is the top of your double crochet there. So work through there, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to tighten this um, circle by pulling the little tail at the back. So just gently pull 
and close the circle. And what you've done now is you've created a little pentagon. Next, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip the first chain and slip stitch into the second chain through the top loop of the second chain. Like so. Next, work a single crochet in the next chain. In the next chain, a half double crochet, which is yarn over, insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Then we're going to do a double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now for our last stitch, we're going to do a treble. So that's yarn over twice, insert your hook in the last chain, yarn over, pull through, and you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And next, we're going to work a slip stitch into the next two chain space here. And what you've done now is created one of the points of the star. And next, we repeat this once more. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ignore the first chain and slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. Don't work this too tightly. In the next chain, a single crochet. In the next chain, a half double crochet. In the next chain, a double crochet. And in the next and last chain, which is just here, a treble. And then you slip stitch in the next two chain space. So continue doing this all the way around and I'll meet you when you're in your last two chain space there. You'll end up with five little points. So once you've completed your last point of your star, if you look here, you can see your three Double crochets, one, two, three. Just insert your hook under the next stitch there. And yarn over and pull through. Now don't chain one, just lay your work down. Snip the yarn and pull through. Give it a little tug. And what we're going to do now is weave that in. Okay, so the easiest way is to just go under. We have a little look here. 
under this next chain just here bring that across and then you can just bring that down turn it over and fasten it in with a couple of little stitches could even hide the tail just in here. Then we snip that. Next, we're going to just make sure that circle is closed nicely. I'm just weaving the last tail end here easiest way is to just go back around the other way just hide it that'll be fine okay so there's the completed star I hope you like it. It can be used for all sorts of things. You could hang it on your Christmas tree. You could make a little garland from them. And they could be used as appliques. I quite like the definition where you get like a little hexagon, not hexagon, a pentagon here. And then you have the little eyelets just there. Okay, so you can make these in any colour you like. As you all are away, I'm sure that um, the Karen Simply Soft, there are lots of beautiful colours. And those are just a few I've made. And of course, I've used white, so it shows up better. Okay, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, it'd be great if you would. If you're not... Um, um, if you haven't clicked the bell notification, that would be a good idea so you don't miss any future videos. And also, if you've really enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you to all my subscribers. and See you soon. Bye for now.